Kim Kardashian says she wants to help formerly incarcerated people by hiring them. The E-Star has made a big impact on criminal justice reform already, and she's planning on doing even more. In an appearance on The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon, Kim reveals she's open to the idea of hiring ex-prisoners in an attempt to get them on a good path. I would love to hire formerly incarcerated people, and I think I would, you know, I would love to spread that message that other companies and big companies can do that too. Kim says she'd like to partner with the ARC, the Anti-Recidivism Coalition, which aims to help those who are released with career development and support services. It's a cause we can tell is close to the star's heart. I think there's such a stigma on people hiring formerly incarcerated people without people really knowing their story and their history about what they've really been through. People like that deserve a second chance at yeah. life. In the past, Kim publicly called for President Trump to pardon a 62-year-old great-grandmother named Alice Johnson, who had been serving a life sentence for a first-time drug offense. After a meeting with the president in which she advocated for her release, Johnson was pardoned after serving 21 years. She later attended the State of the Union address on February 5, 2019. Kim says they were texting while she was there, and she also wrote the foreword in Johnson's upcoming memoir. In November 2017, the E-Star and other celebs threw their support behind Centoya Brown, who was sentenced to a 51-year-to-life at age 16 for killing a man who allegedly paid to have sex with her. At the time, Kim tweeted, The system has failed. It's heartbreaking to see a young girl sex trafficked, then when she has the courage to fight back, is jailed for life. We have to do better and do what's right. I've called my attorneys yesterday to see what can be done to fix this." Following the uproar over her incarceration, Tennessee Governor William Haslam commuted her sentence in January 2019. Kim was also a backer of the First Step Act, which passed the Senate and aims to help with fairer sentencing for drug offenses and more. And she's still on a mission. She reportedly met with the president again in September 2018 to discuss a pardon for Chris Young, another Tennessee prisoner serving a life sentence on drug and firearm charges. <laughs> Thirsty for more celeb news? Make sure you subscribe to the E! News YouTube channel so you can stay informed on all the breaking updates. Come on, you know you want to be the first to know about all the latest hookups, breakups, arrests, and so much more.